Good morning, happy Thursday. Slightly lazier start to the day, it's about 8 o'clock. I'm sitting down to my breakfast and I'm not dressed yet. Andrew's done the morning dog walk. So I've got a coffee with skimmed milk and then because I didn't make it last night, I've made it this morning. But it is 40 grams of grape nuts which I've softened with hot water. Um, the Lindale K Varg vanilla yogurt, which is half a sin, sweetened with a bit of skinny syrup, some um, fresh strawberries, and a little bit of this skinny syrup salted caramel. So, my breakfast is my healthy extra B and half a sin, and it's going to taste delicious. Right, good morning. It is now just after 10 o'clock and I've had a very lazy shower and shave and clean myself up and got dressed. I'm going to try and persuade Andrew to come out for the come out for a couple of hours. So I've got this size 12 purple dress on from Bon Marche, which was £4 or £4.50 I think I got it for. And no tights, I'm going to be brave today. And I've just got these patterned sandals on, which one of my followers sent to me a while ago. I thought they added a bit of something to the outfit rather than just black or white sandals. So, yeah, that's my outfit, and that's me ready. So now I just have to bully Andrew into not sitting on the sofa all day. Although we both deserve it, I think. We're just about ready to go out. Andrew's just quickly got changed and we've obviously got to leave Charlie behind for a couple of hours but he's just having a last cuddle and uh, Andrew's blowing on him, look. <laughs> oh, is that nice? <laughs> oh, dear. What a baby. I know, big baby. Right, we will see you maybe at the shops. This one is actually a size 14. You don't have a 12 in it. But it is too big around the top. I'm not sure. Big shoulders. Can you see? Definitely too big around the top. That's a shame. I definitely think the first one was the best one. Don't quite know what all oh, this is here. Wrinkle, you know, is that the style of the dress? I have got my tummy control on today. I definitely think that one was the best. So it's about 20 past 12 now. I will explain in another clip uh, that shop and what I tried on and so forth. But um, I have been to Subway and I've got a chicken teriyaki salad in sweet onion sauce. That's one and a half sins. And we've got um, iceberg and spinach, tomatoes, peppers, cucumber, um, beetroot, 
and I've got a poached egg as well, which is 50%, 50 pence extra for a poached egg. And I saw that they have sea salt, so I've got sea salt as well on there. I've got some strawberries and a banana and a 7-up free. That is very lovely. And Andrew's got fish and chips. Right, so it's now 2 o'clock and we are back at home. We uh, cut our shopping trip slightly short to get back in time for our shopping delivery, which is arriving any time between 2 and 3 from Morrison's. And I'll probably show you what we get in our weekly shopping. So we have been to MacArthur Glen um, Designer Outlet, which is just outside York, because one of my lovely followers on Instagram uh, told me that there was a Joe Brown shop in the designer outlet. Now, they didn't have anything like the polka dot red dress that I'd seen online, but I just wanted to try some on um, for the fit. And I think I'd be comfortable in ordering a 12 if I did decide to go ahead and order off the website. So, all the dresses were £25, reduced from between 40 and 50 pounds and three were a size 12 and this one the one with strawberries on was a 14 and it was definitely very roomy on on top so i would say if you are at the lower end of your size range then it might the 12s were fitting very very comfortably so in some of the styles, I possibly might have even tried a 10 on, but I think the 12 is just right for me. But if you are on the smaller end of your size, then think about sizing down for me and Joe Browns. But yeah, I was really impressed with them. I think my favourite is this one, this red one. But a lot of people on Instagram seem to like this uh, black, I think it's poppies and cherries and things. Anyway, let me know what you think. And maybe one day I will splash out on one. I do need a slim con dress, so I'll be on, be on the hunt now for, um, for a dress. Uh, and we've got our anniversary coming up as well. well. At the end of September, it's our wedding anniversary, and we're going down to the lakes again, so we might go out somewhere then. So yeah, I can uh, I can just uh, keep looking. We did see a couple in Marks and Spencers that I'd have liked to try on as well, but we'd run we'd kind of run out of time by then. But from Marks and Spencers, I did just get some reduced pajamas. So got some they've got unicorns pink and blue unicorns on an aquamarine background size 12 for it look very comfortable fit and they were 15 pound for the top and the um bottoms have you got a picture of your um thing that you tried on have you got your phone andy andrew tried a jacket on in joe brown's because obviously he was waiting for me to try my four dresses on. Yeah, you'll have to, t if he finds it, you'll have to tell us what you think. Hang on, I'm coming. Here we go. Charlie's been very good while we've been away. Hang on. There we go. That's me, that. very snazzy check check um suit jacket mm. is it called a jacket yeah it's a jacket yeah, yeah. it's a casual sort of yeah. anyway and then we had our lunch out as you saw and now we've come back and we can relax for an hour or so wait for the shopping to come charlie out for a walk and then i'll be more or less straight off to weigh in so yeah that's our day today a bit more relaxed um, and a bit of shopping done. Well, if it was up to you a lot, I'd be bankrupt by now. 
I have put the photos of the um, dresses on Facebook and Instagram and there's quite a few people saying buy all four. Uh, £25 each, that'd be £100 down. <coughs> what was your jacket? Andrew's jacket was £50. And I could have bought some some more stuff in Marks and Spencer's as well. I saw some shoot, some sandals in Marks and Spencer's that were very nice. A couple of tops that I could have bought. Uh, maybe we need to put lottery on this weekend. Mm. Just contemplating making a coffee, but it's half two now. So you know, as soon as you put the kettle on, that the Morrison's delivery is going to arrive, don't you? So before either of us got up to put the kettle on, the the um, Morrison shop arrived. So Andrew thinks it came to eighty seven pounds. It, this is a fairly typical weekly shop for us. There isn't a lot of extra things on. Um, and it's not... Well, it is all semi well friendly if you want to fit it into the plan. But there's a fair bit of Andrew's treats, just as a warning. Uh, just to, to show you. And I haven't looked up any scene values because I totally forgot about the possibility of filming my shopping, uh, my weekly shopping. But now it's here, I'm going to show you what we buy. As I say, it's a fairly typical week. So starting over here then, I think this is the majority of Andrew's bits. So he's got a big packet of uh, Chip Shop Salt and, Salt and Vinegar McCoy's Chips. Two packets of Salted Caramel Scottish Shortbread Rounds. Three bags of Salt and Vinegar Chip Sticks. Uh, they're quite good. They are four sins each on Slimming World. And there for his work pack up. He's got six chocolate mousses, a loaf of Hovis Best of Both, Mr. Kipling Viennese Whirls, Time Out Wafers, cho Terry's Chocolate Orange Minis, cho uh, sorry, Original Digestives, Viscount Biscuits, Toffee Pops, Skittles, Starburst, and Whisper. Then we get to some of the healthy stuff. We've got um, two bags of baby leaf salad, one of which has burst open, which I'm not too pleased about, but there we go. We've got a big tray of strawberries, the big £4 one. Let's get rid of this. Look at them. Then we've got raspberries and blueberries, four pink ladies. Six royal gala apples, uh, stir fry veg, two packets of plum tomatoes, a red and an orange pepper, a cucumber. This is my um, Cathedral City lighter grated mature cheese, and you can have uh, 40 grams of that for a healthy extra A. I've got two packets of conference pears. Uh, less than 5% fat lean mince, uh, three, three chicken breasts, so usually like, we would use the lean mince in our slow cooker mince and the chicken breast fillets in our chicken casserole. Got two um, big tubs of Greek fat free Greek style yoghurt which is free on the plan. Four packets of fat free cork, again that's free on the plan and four Muller yoghurts. So I usually get a smooth toffee, banana and custard, strawberry and lemon tart, but that is limited edition. So at some point that will be swapped out for whatever the latest limited edition flavour is. And this is Andrew's ham for sandwiches. And then over here we've got the odds and ends. We've got some veg. We've got a big packet of um, jacket potatoes. Or baking potatoes and a smaller pack that usually does us the week. Uh, we use we use baking potatoes to make our chips and roast. And then we've got a um, pack of carrots, a pack of onions, my butternut squash, some frozen veg, carrots, broccoli and cauliflower again, 
that's what I usually have on the side of my mince and my chicken casserole. Uh, garden peas, they're mainly for Andrew. And look, something else has sneaked in that's for Andrew. Magnum double raspberry. Let's have a look. They are... 230, 240 calories per stick. So they'll be about 12 sins. But please do check on the app. Um, Vimto sugar free squash, which is mine. A bottle of balsamic vinegar. Kitchen foil. Four Dr. Pepper Zero and four Fat Fanta Zero. They are mine. Six free range eggs, a can of chickpeas. I like to make sure I've got one tin in every week in case I want to uh, make sin free hummus. We've got the Arla Best of Both milk, which is a mix of I believe it's like between skimmed skimmed milk that tastes as good as semi skimmed. So you can have three hundred ml of that for a healthy extra A. And this is Andrew's semi-skimmed milk. And then Andrew's also bought these. Mr. Freeze, Freeze Pops, Orange, Lemonade, Strawberry, Cola and Raspberry. And I'll have to look. They are 30 calories per 100 ml. So I would think at the most they'll be half a sin each. But I need to double check that. But that is our shopping this week. Right, so it's now... Well, it's actually half past three, which uh, time's passing quicker than I expected. But we've unpacked all the shopping. I've done some preparations for my tea after group. And I'm going to sit down with a coffee made with skimmed milk. I've just made up some uh, quark with chocolate options. So there's half the pot here for one sin with a chopped pear. Uh, so that is my afternoon snack and this will last me until I get back from group about 7 o'clock. Right, it's just after 4.30 now and I'm going to set off to group. So I've got my book and my fruit for the uh, Slimmer of the Week basket, which won't be me as I had again last week. Um, the dressers vote is uh, getting some really good comments on Facebook and Instagram. A lot of people like the red one, the first one, but quite a few people also like the last one, uh, which I wasn't sure about because of the style of the dress giving, giving sort of a wrinkled effect there. But it must look better on camera than I thought because there's quite a few votes for that one as well. But I will go off to group now and catch up with you later. Right, I'm back from group and I have my evening meal. So I've got the other half of my butternut squash. I'm finally eating it up after we've had a few changes of meals this weekend. This week, I've got half a roast butternut squash, a small tin of beans, 40 grams of light cheese as my healthy extra A, and that's on a bed of salad. Then I've got the other half of my chocolate quark. I have to keep the lid on otherwise uh, Charlie gets interested in it. So chocolate quark and a pair there for one sin. So two sins for that in total and um, a fruit twist Fanta. Well good evening and welcome back to my channel. I do have to say that even when I've already been filming uh, today. What a lovely day we've had. Uh, with weather and we've enjoyed all our food and enjoyed a day out shopping even mm. though we didn't actually buy anything. With the dresses I was very tempted uh, but do you remember I said that uh, or Andrew said that he'd booked an extra holiday in September. We do actually have to pay that off at the end of this month um, so I can't really justify any more dresses when I have three or four already in the wardrobe. Um, but in a month or two when we've saved a little bit more money then I think I will be going back to that uh, Joe Brown store they had some really really good deals so if you have an outlet near you and you like Joe Brown stuff uh, a retail what do they call it a retail outlet, okay. outlet yeah. 
you know the type of place like MacArthur Glen if you have one and it's got a Joe Browns go and check it out because they wear a lot of things like the dresses were all about £25 reduced from 50 so that's quite a good deal <clears throat> so how has my week been well I've been vlogging as you've seen I feel like I've done pretty well I've uh, walked a lot um, I, I've stuck to what I call my plan so I don't know whether you've noticed but with, with the th things like sins um, I'm saying oh this is about I'm on about so and so and that's how I like to be I don't want to be counting every single sin and thinking constantly I'm on three sins right I'm on eight sins so like for instance today I'll say right I've had about five sins um, already because I've had did I have a a, 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 quark, a flavoured quark this morning, my sweet onion sauce and my um, chocolate quark and my tea was sin free. So I, I, that's how I like to be. I like to be what I call a little bit flexible and not, try, not counting every single thing and it playing on my mind constantly and I think that's, that's working. And also I'm a bit more relaxed with my healthy extras, especially my healthy extra A. Uh, you might have noticed oh, I'm a little bit over with my milk or, uh, for instance, tomorrow I'm thinking if we do make it out, uh, I might have a jacket potato with a little bit of cheese. But in the evening I'm probably going to have a burger also with a slice of cheese. So tomorrow I'd probably be slightly over on my A choices. B choice I tend to stick to... Uh, just the 40 grams. I don't tend to have two B choices, but I am a bit more relaxed about my sins and about my healthy extras. There's, uh, there was one day this week when I had 18 or 20 sins, um, but I think that's what's working for me. Um, so I walked into group, it was a busy group, couple, uh, some old faces and some new faces, and actually quite a few people stayed. So it was good. Uh, 18th of July which is today and I lost five pounds so that's a total weight loss of 15 stone 9 and I now weigh 10 stone 12 10 stone 12 and a half which is not my lowest I think my lowest is 10 stone 10 back in November 2018 but yeah I'm pleased that I'm in the tens again uh, obviously I'm absolutely stoked with that loss I don't think all of it is a true weight loss or fat loss. I think it's just my body writing itself after having a gain last week. And it's just, you know, it's a loss bigger than what I expected. Same as last week was a gain bigger than I expected. Um, but I'm happy. I'm in my, nicely in my target bubble. Um, do you find, I think me and Andrew might have Tomorrow we might have a meal out at a cafe, which would be like on plan with a jacket potato. But I think maybe we might go out for a meal as well. We'll see. I think we should go to McDonald's for breakfast. No. And go to some sort of, I don't know, Costa for, for like a brunch. Fish and chips for dinner. And then probably go out for a meal at night. And then you should be about, I don't know, 11 stone 10 and a half. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I do, I do have to confess that when I go out, the main meal I find, or the yeah, the main I find quite easy to make a sensible choice and food optimize. But it's the cakes and puddings that I miss. So I try to. Um, sometimes I have. Sometimes I take something myself, like a high fi bar or some fruit, and sometimes I have the treat. Um, and sometimes I go sin free the rest of the day and have some kind of cake or pudding and I think I'm doing okay at maintaining um, I'm, I'm two months away from it being my first year so we're in the middle of July and I've been around this weight and size um, for, for nearly a year so I think I must be doing something right um, I'm really pleased with how the holiday is going i love i love i don't know if you noticed but i love just trying 
dresses on, even just going to enjoy the experience of being able to try things on at that kind of size without necessarily buying them um, is really good. And when we're working day to day, we don't often get a chance to go shopping, do we? Cl like clothes shopping. No. So it's just a little bit of a hobby, really. But thank you for all your advice. I may be putting in, I'll either be buying a dress from Jo Brown's eventually, or I may be putting an order in for the red polka dot one. Now I know that the size 12 fits nicely. Um, so if you're a Target member, let me know what, what you're, how you're doing to uh, balance your lifestyle and also let me know how you're getting on in your weight loss journey. Um, I am going to have a little treat tonight. So as I say, I'm on roughly five sins so far today and I, keep, I kept seeing these on Instagram and I made an order. This is from, uh, these cookies are from the Cookie People. I bought them myself, it's not an ad or a sponsorship or anything. So I got some um, Snickers, chocolate and some cookies and cream. So I'm sure they'll be probably about 20 sins each. So that's my little treat for tonight. They're actually based in Scunthorpe, so maybe we'll actually go and visit the shop uh, one day. Do you have anything to add? No, I'm quite shy, so I don't know what to say. What do you think about me losing five pound? I think it's disgusting. Why? Because I've put five pound on. He doesn't know, he doesn't weigh himself. But yes, uh, so that's what I'm having for my supper with my usual coffee and an apple. So I'll end the vlog here with a thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.